We are back with a new relationship show that your girl has to recap all things relationships. Now, we got to get into this new show on called Never Ever Met right about now. If you're new here, I'm Denise Brady and I love all things relationships. I love these shows because I get to digest, analyze, and use my therapist cap to get into some of y'all and y'all relationships because a lot of these people represent y'all. Now, the show in itself is a new and different concept, okay? We have some people who have lived in the same city and have been long distance in a way where you have never seen them in person, but y'all have FaceTime. And then we have other people who live in multiple states and have been in a long-term relationship, short-term, and are now on this show trying to see if, when I finally see you in person, will the love be the same? Now, okay, there has been a lot of talk negatively about this show. People feel like they're perpetuating black women negatively, showing that we settle. There are also people who hate that they chose a certain demographic of people to work with to show things about their relationship. Now, I'm not here to down, put people down about the things that they make, the choice that they make in their relationship. At the end of the day, you sleeping next to that man, that woman, whoever it is, it's not me. My job here is more to entertain, educate you guys about things related to mental health. And now looking at some of these couples, the main one I was curious about was Shay and Josh. Now this is a couple who have been together 12 years and have never met in person. Y'all heard me correctly. 12 years and you never seen this man in person. Now, part of me is like, do I really believe that you are, this is true? Or do I believe I really came on this show just for a free trip, a vacation? Ain't no way I can see myself being in a relationship with somebody for 12 years and never seen them in person face to face. Now, to me, it was given prison relationship because that's what it's kind of akin to. Basically, you talk on the phone Y'all never see each other in person, but the only thing is he free. So what is the reason why you have not seen this man? Okay, now he lives in Florida, she lives in Tennessee. That ain't that far from one another. What is that, maybe a, a eight hour, 24 hour drive? So something else is not, the milk ain't milking right, okay? Something in the milk ain't right. And so I'm like, do I really believe it? Or do I believe that they came here for a TV show? Because how is it that you can hold down a man for 12 years who ain't locked up, who don't live in another country, who live, what, three, four, or five states away from you, and you never see him? I don't believe that. Okay, now then we come to Joanna and Aaron. Now, they first date, he was putting it on a little bit extra. He was really trying to impress her, and she was irritated because she's like, man, you know me. Why are you doing the extras? And I'm not sure if it was because of the TV show or because of, um, I don't know what it was, but even when he first saw her, to me, it was like, have y'all seen each other before? Because he didn't act like, oh, I can't believe it's you. Let me hold you, let me feel you. A lot of these couples, when they first saw each other, it was not like I'd never seen you before in person. It was more like, okay, I saw you maybe a couple weeks ago. I was expecting more of the, you're here. Let me run into your arms. Let me let me touch your face. Let me fill you up. You're really in my presence. It was none of that. So I'm like, have y'all really never met before? Are y'all playing producers? What's really going on? Okay. And then we have Damon and Aaron. He said he's into BBW, BBWs. Okay. Now, they have been together five years. Five on it and that have never met in person. I think there's a lot of trauma with this relationship. On her part, self-esteem stuff, trauma. On his part, trauma also. Cause I still don't understand. And then they said that I think he cheated on her. How you cheat on somebody you never met? I think you can, but why stay with him? Mm -mm -mm. So much trauma. And we get to Alexis and Dominique. Now, spoiler alert. If y'all saw the end of the episode, there was some DV stuff that happened. When he first saw her, he said he, he wasn't sure if he was physically attracted to her. He said that on camera and then proceeded to try and put her in all these um, 
yoga poses, downward dog, maybe the, the spark can grow, but there's jealousy on both parts. You cannot have a relationship with someone where y'all are both jealous and territorial. It's gonna be a match like this, but to me it's gonna be more about a lot of physical contact that is not unnecessary, a little bit of DV in the relationship. We saw that at the end when they got into it and people were like, are they are they joking? Are they, they play fire? No, no, they was putting the paws on one another okay how do y'all get it cracking like that after the first episode what are we doing here you just met her and y'all already fighting in this nice house i don't get it okay then we have sienna and brandon now i'm not sure if they really together are they just talking are they friends it's a mess y'all they are a mess and once again when he saw her it wasn't like he just saw her for the first time either and now we have i think her name is sadia and chris he ain't into her he using her okay he love bombs her i think he's all about himself and so he does these uh, uh, extravagant elaborate things to get her to come in and then when she gets close oh we're not we're not we're not in a relationship we're not committed Okay, we're not exclusive. It's like, wait, what? But you just put her in a helicopter and flew her around the city. Be careful about them because they will love bomb you in the beginning so much so that you will get caught up in all of that stuff and not the red flags. You'll be distracted. I think she seems like she has a low self-esteem and he's out there doing the most, doing him, not doing us. He's doing him. Now, they have only been dating three months. Why are y'all on this show? Sometimes people stay in relationships just because they want to say they're in a relationship when it's not really going nowhere. And then we have Millie and Greg. Now they both live in Cali and they've been dating three years. Now these are the ones out of all the couples, I feel like they're the ones who are most likely to get engaged. They seem the most stable. He seems a little bit nervous when he first sees her. Once again, it was not the, oh, I'm so happy to finally see you. It was none of that. But they seem the most stable out of the bunch. And I don't know if that's really saying a lot. But this show is going to be a mess. And you know who's right there ready to watch all of it? Your girl. Yes, I will be recapping this show because it's going to be very messy. We can learn about a lot of relationships. Some of these relationships are a lot of y'all. I know y'all don't want to hear it. But it's true. You can see yourself in a lot of these dynamics. Now, why do you guys think, what are some of the reasons why someone has been dating someone for a long period of time? Let's not look at the ones that are a little bit shorter. Look at the ones that, you know, Draymond and Aaron who have been together for five years um, and Shay and Josh who have been together for 12. You hear that? 12 years and have never met. What do you think it is that would cause someone to be in a relationship or warrant I'm okay with being in a relationship with you and we have never met in person. We FaceTime, we do FaceTime dates, and then one person is cheating, the other person is like, I'm in, but I'm out. What would, put, what would make someone continue to deal with that type of relationship? Is it low self-worth, self-esteem? Do you think it's that there's a lot of trauma behind these like people that we haven't heard of? And what role do you feel like the experts will play in this show? Because every time we get one of these shows, we have the experts. Now, it's interesting that they call them experts and not therapists. What's missing from a lot of these shows are experts who are therapists, psychologists, people who work with people in these type of situations who have a lot of trauma who need to overcome the trauma in order for their relationships to work. But again, I'm seeing experts and not a therapist, okay? Do you think that these people can benefit from experts more than doing the deep work the psychological work because that's what i really want to see on these relationship shows moving forward get therapist hey i'm available call a therapist to come in and really do the deep work that these people need in order to heal and work on their selves and relationships but that is not the focus okay so i'm wondering how this season will unfold will we find out why they have been together 12 years and have never cohabitated <laughs> vacation together <laughs> i can't i can't i can't but these are just my quick thoughts on episode one it ended up being a mess but let me know will you keep watching uh, 
Is this another messy show? The Never Ever Met. That title. But let me know your thoughts because, of course, you know your girl will be here all season long. Recapping, analyzing, putting on my little spidey senses and getting straight to it. Now, if you've gotten this far in the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!